Is that is that? All right, guys, we got uh, it's in that area. another speaker coming up for you. Good. Uh, we did something a little bit different this year. Um, this is Professor Tom Hayes. Uh, and Tom is a professor of economics at uh, Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, he's here on loan to Harvard University, and he's going to talk to you about the economics of construction in the Rhode Island market. All right, thank you. Top of the morning to y'all. How you doing? A little late for St. Patrick's Day. Did you have a good St. Patrick's Day, did you? Yes. Yeah. Right, good. Right, 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 it's a joy to be here. I'm a little new to the country, but I'm <laughs> being here. And, uh, a little weird for me, though. A little, first of all, driving on the, on the opposite side of the road. It's a little crazy, you know. And it's, boy, they go fast here, don't they? Go fast, you know. And then the ladies, they got the, they, they're, they're amazing, you know, that you can do this trick driving, you know. You see them, they're putting their lipstick on when they're driving, a little makeup, you know. And the way they're driving, you think everyone's going to go and have sex, you know. <laughs> what the hell are they making up like that, you know? So anyway, the little weird thing going down, and I, I, I got a little stress. They tell me you're going to be working in Seekonk, Massachusetts, but you've got to go through Rhode Island first to get there. How the freak does that work? <laughs> and I got a little detour, I went all the school up, I got over to Fall River, and uh, who's this guy Chirico? Is he running for president or whatever? <laughs> what the hell is a Chirico? Who's a oh, Excuse me? Same to you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> a Portuguese sausage, but they spell it Chirico. That's how the Americans You've got a big chip on your shoulder, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> It jumps right in there, don't you? Yeah. Well, we know who that big mouth is, all right? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> too bad they're going to have a raffle because you'd win the goddamn thing. <laughs> 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 you even got a joke for us. Uh, okay, just calm down. <laughs> What I had to do was mention a por Portuguese sausage and he's going crazy. Oh, it's <laughs> so I'm a little nervous. Uh, you're all right there, sir? He's not Portuguese. <laughs> do you want to do this? <laughs> oh, God. So anyway, it's great here. And uh, God, I was up to Maine. To, to sort of quite a place, Maine, you know. And I did a little bit, uh, conversation like this. We're going to be talking about the economy, and I know how anxious you are to hear about the economy and statistics and things like that. So. <laughs> you find that really, <laughs> pretty funny there, Chris, don't you? <laughs> you know, Chris, uh, if I, you know, he, he told me exactly how to do this. And, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, no, no, he didn't yell yes, but I know he's going to be screaming. <laughs> And he says, when you get up there, make sure that you kind of rub around this area. <laughs> tipping the people who were waiting on us, you know, because you guys, give a round of applause to the guys. Who were <laughs> and we said, let me give a little tip, and Josh went out of his mind. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Give a blunny? <laughs> and he started squeaking as soon as he started reaching for <laughs> Next thing you know, he's <laughs> It's crazy. Okay. And uh, of course, Jim, you can tell me if I'm going too long. You know, we got to keep this on the budget. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? So we'll keep this on because we're, Jesus, we're losing money on every goddamn shot we do. You want to be careful for Christ. <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? Thank you very much. You know, it's not the funny guy. But, 
Thank you, Daddy. You're sure you want to stay? You're sure you don't want to kind of leave and come back later and tell me how we're fucked up? <laughs> you can give me a little, tell me how a little something, how I could have done this a little better. <laughs> So John says, yeah, you can sit at the table with pink face and pumpkin head. <laughs> we said this is going to be pretty, isn't yes, it? We're going for the jugular. Jesus. It's a good technique, you know. Shane, you didn't come up with anything for that one, you know. So you gotta go, you gotta have the right cup. Just move it around all day long. We should get carpal tunnel to one night. Kevin, if I deviate and don't say, say anything that's untrue, I know you'll be able to pick up on that. Uh, Nick, I'm freaked out. <laughs> Pachinko goes crazy. Oh, and thank God Paul isn't here. What is his name? Paul, what? Was Paul Tavares, yeah. Don't pop this there, I can't have you fucked it up for me. It was written right here, Paul Disney. So, thank you very much. Okay, that's it. Not my time, my mom's, you know, no. So, uh, yeah, a few other things that, uh, but I was up in Maine and they got the, you know, the cars in the front, but they got all chains on their wallets. I'm thinking, what the hell, there must be a big pickpocket problem in the woods. <laughs> We're going in the woods this week, got a chain of wallet to our ass. <laughs> yeah, the bears are looking for flies. <laughs> Funny guys up there. I said, uh, I, did, I can do a little bit of, uh, you know, there was a little story that one of them told me that the guy came up and said, did you hear about the couple from Maine married 50 years, decided to retire, they head south, stop for gas. A guy comes up and says, hey, he says, I can see from the plates you're from Maine. She says, he's sitting there with the little ladies in the car, and she says, what, what did he say? What did he say to her? I said, I can do I can do the main accent a little bit. Is this okay if I do that? I mean, you'll get pissed off at me or anything. Okay, so she says, what, what did he say? What did he say to you? Why, Jesus, and he just said, this ever happened to you? You're out minding your own business with your lady. Some guy says something to you, and all of a sudden, you know, it's a conspiracy against the woman. You know, she which is a big secret between you two. And I love this one. Look at me when you're talking to me. Why, Jesus, and all he said is he could see from the plates were from Maine. She said, that's all you had to say. She reminds me of another old joke. A guy's driving down the road, a couple pulls him over and says, pull over. He says, excuse me. He says, pull over. He says, for what? He says, you have no idea why I'm pulling you over. He says, it's not a clue. He says, your wife fell out of the car five minutes ago. <laughs> and I look at him and go, oh my God, officer, thank you. I thought I was going deaf. <laughs> So the guy says, yeah, he says, I was stationed for three years in the military. And then she says, what, what did he say? He says, boy, Jesus, he just said he was stationed for five years in the military. And she says, that's all you had to say. The guy says, yeah. He says, the first, worst two sexual experiences of my life were in me. She says, what did he say about sex in me? What did he say? Boy, Jesus, he just said, perhaps, just maybe, but there's an excellent chance he knows you and your sister. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get to the statistics and part, I want to explain the bag. I recently went through a divorce. This was a settlement. <laughs> Look at the women. So the women are thinking, you're lucky you got that, you arsehole. <laughs> like I am, because a lot of guys don't get this much. Actually, it's part of the equipment of a new group I belong to. It's a support group for divorce guys. The homeless. <laughs> Do I sound bitter? People say, do you think you'll ever get remarried? I go, no, I think I'll just buy a house and give it to some woman I don't like. <laughs> so they've earned me a whole lot of time and aggravation. I don't like you, 
to house. <laughs> we got any divorced women in the room tonight? I love divorced women because you've got property. <laughs> Didn't take me long to figure that little equation. Divorce chick house, boom, I'm on it. I'm not starting over, I'm picking up where the last guy left off. <laughs> I don't even go on the internet looking for women anymore. I go straight to probate court and look for the winners. As soon as I ran my story, I walked on the kids. Sandy, you're married? Yes. You think you're married? You've got a little pink face there. <laughs> How long have you been married? How long? Uh, Very good. These are tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll pick it up over here. <laughs> How long have you married? Me? I was married for 22 years. God bless you. And what, did you? Yeah, you, you're looking for a house. There's no one there to play this couple now. I heard a joke about a couple married 50 years. Wife comes down to breakfast, looks at the husband, says, Honey, i got to tell you something. After 50 years of marriage, my breasts are still red hot for you. He looks across the table and says, Well, it should be. One's in your oatmeal, the other one's in your tea. <laughs> Such a good visual on that one. So, you got, you got kids? Yes. How many? Three. Three. So I've got two females. You've got to be careful to these days. Can't say, can't say girls. You know, I've never seen females. You know. Because they're two and five, they're like militants. You know. <laughs> People have little little stickers say, kids on board, baby on board. I made it my own. It says, pubescent witches on board. <laughs> <laughs> right next to it, middle-aged father on medication. <laughs> Sister and my 14-year-old living with her mother up until like a year ago. Runs away, which really upset me because she found me. <laughs> so what the hell are you doing? She said, ran away. I said, what for? She went, huh? Same reason you did. <laughs> I'm thinking, all right, you had a girlfriend too. That's great. You know? <laughs> we can work that out. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just drop there. Obviously, I'm not an Irishman. And, I, and instead, I'm just a good, you don't get pissed at me. It was John's idea. <laughs> but I am a stand up comedian, obviously. And uh, I, we, we, we came down, and first of all, to give you guys a little fun, I think we did.